Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back to episode 15 of the FIFA 19 My Player Career and it is transfer deadline day so we're just going to get through this and see exactly who has spent what and see who where, see who's gone where. Um, we're hoping that Wolverhampton Wanderers have obviously spent a lot of money. They have brought in a couple of players already uh, but we'll actually go ahead and see who they are shortly. Uh, Crystal Palace spending nearly 40 million there. Um, Derby County newly promoted of course, they spent over 30 million. Unlike them, Everton, £75 million spent. Wow, they have spent a lot. Leeds United just got promoted as well. They spent close to £15 million. A lot of comings and goings there at Leicester City. Uh, so £600 million. Wow, look at that. No, £86.7 million gone out there. Well, come in there at Liverpool. That's insane. And um, we are getting closer to Wolves now. Um, Newcastle United... So, as I was saying, £600 million has been, has been spent today, which is quite a lot of money. Wow, Oxley chamberlain has gone back to Southampton. Uh, Modric, he's gone back to Tottenham. That's an interesting move there. Uh, Dembele, he's gone to Stoke City. Uh, come on, let's see who Wolverhampton Wanderers then. How much have we spent and who have we brought in? A lot of coming in there from West Ham. So, 50, nearly £60 million spent and we've brought in... Dolberg as we know, Donis as we know and Jack Wilsh has come in. I think Jack Wilsh is only alone though. Um, we'll have to look through the squad report shortly um, but I think Jack Wilsh is here on loan. We did bring in a lot of players though so let's go through these guys on the squad report and there is Kai of course 21 years old now, close to 80 overall rated, valued at 24 million. There's his attributes if you want to go ahead and pause it to have a more in-depth look. He's got one goal so far this season and that come in the Europa League qualifying stage. Uh, Dharma, 23 years old, looking very, very promising of course. And Benatino, Diogo Jota is 22 years old, good player as well. Casper uh, Dolberg hasn't had the best of starts so far this season. 21 years old though, so plenty of time for him to go ahead and improve, especially if he can start linking up nicely with Kai. Uh, Jack Wilshire, 27 years old, he is here on loan. He's played four games so far as Jack Wilshire. I didn't even realise he's played so many games. Um, he must have just snuck into the squad. And let's go ahead. I think the rest are going to be... Uh, the second string squad and the youngsters and then of course a bunch of players out on loan and so we've got some good players in the team remember we do have James Milner here as well and uh, so that was a good signing for us and adding Jack Wilshire to that midfield too we've got a pretty strong midfield lineup with Kai in there as well uh, so let's see how we get today's episode started first game up is against Chelsea it is away from home at Stamford Bridge going to be a tough one of course always tough going to Stamford Bridge regardless of who you are and um, because we are Wolverhampton Wanderers, you would say that Chelsea are the big favourites for this game. We never know. We might go out and cause a shock. We want to try and get in on those goals. We're hoping that the AI can let, um, help us out a little bit today because they are um, struggling to help us get forward. Nice little interception there from Kai, but it does lose out straight away. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, the AI not really doing much for us right now. Um, struggling to get into the position that we need them to. Um, so hopefully they can make the right runs and Kai can get the ball out to them because that's one of the problems. They're not making the right runs where we expect them to go and they're crossing and they're passing. Even the simple passes are terrible and that one, I'm saying even the simple passes are terrible. That was a cracking cross and almost giving Wolverhampton Wanderers the one goal lead. So into the second half we go. After that chance there's not really been much to speak of if I'm honest. Um, we are on the attack though. Kai's in there, we've got two other teammates in there as well. Uh, good passing play, patient passing play, Kyle Yedier is going to hit it, he does, and it's hit the woodwork, bounces out, and out for a throw to Wolves, but another chance there for Wolves, goes begging, almost going into the net, we're into the final mate, looks like this one is going to end all square, which I will take, away from home at Stamford Bridge, I'll definitely take a point, good interception there from Kyle, good little tackle, but again, he wins the ball and loses it almost straight away. That's not what we want. Come on, Kyle. We've got to do better. Looks like this is going to end 0-0 then. Uh, waiting for that final whistle to blow. Unless Chelsea steal it late on. Time is running out. And get this one clear. And it will be game over, I believe. There is the clearance. Forward to Kai. And there is the referee's final whistle. So here at Stamford Bridge, 
The first game in today's episode ends in a 0-0 draw. Uh, pretty disappointing, but even though it looks like Kai's not doing enough, and I know a lot of you in the comments it says do something, Kai's not scoring enough goals. We are a central midfielder, remember. We're not a camp, we are a central midfielder. We're playing very deep in this formation. Uh, but as you saw on the targets, we are still meeting our objectives. And that is the main thing that we need to do right now. Um, the AI are letting us down going forward. I appreciate that. Um, so don't worry. We will try and um, get the AI um, working harder for us. There's only so much we can do. Remember, we're only controlling the one player. And um, the times when I do try and press forward, um, and the, the AI don't go with us. So it is hard um, to go forward and get the goals at myself. Um, but we're just trying to win the ball, trying to get the passes off. Hopefully, they I do start to run into the positions where we need them to go. Um, and then hopefully we can get the wins needed to qualify yet again for Europe. But more importantly, the Champions League. As Arsenal with the shot there from the free kick. The overhead kick just outside the area. But thankfully, it was off target. We're up against Arsenal now. We're just taking on Chelsea, which was a draw. And what are we going to do here against the Arsenal? It's going to be a tough one, but we are pushing forward right now. Arsenal slightly had the better chances so far from that free kick. Oh, that's a nice little touch. And good punch out towards Kai. Nice little pass there from Kai. And the goal, it was coming. There is the first one of the game. It was cleared away by the goalkeeper. Punched up in the air. Kai had it. And then he saw Mendes in the space and he puts it into the back of the net. And there's Jack Wilshere as well celebrating against his former club. And Leto, he won't be happy. He was the one with the clearance. And then there was Kai. Here is Kai look with the little header. And boom. The defender probably got in Leno's way there to be honest. But Mendes, he scores his first Premier League goal of the season. Giving Wolverhampton Wanderers a one goal lead. And we are approaching the half time interval. Still in front by that single goal. Uh, but right now it is also in the attack. Here is Meza Ozil. Twists and turning. Finds Lucas Treira. El Nene. His shot or pass was blocked there. And yeah, look how deep Kai is right now. Oh my god. That was almost a goal. What was Rui Patricio thinking there? Not sure who was trying to get that ball towards. Uh, but that one almost going into the back of the net. Giving Arsenal a, um, an equaliser. Uh, come on, boys, need to concentrate. Again, getting crowded out and losing possession in dangerous positions. And look at the space opening up. And the defence, absolutely nowhere. Shocking yet again. The AI letting us down. That one shouldn't have even been going on top. Well, to be honest, he shouldn't have even been allowed to take the shot off. Uh, there's three defenders around him. And look at this. He just, he's got his back towards the ball all the time, that defender, who was right on Torreira. Uh, but there is Lucas Torreira's first goal of the season. 1-1 it is. Less than 15 minutes remaining. And is it going to be another draw here for Wolverhampton Wonders? We draw too many games. And, of course, we don't score enough. So, hopefully, with the signings that Wolves have made, that can change in the future. And Arsenal go through and they've still stolen it. Oh, my God. It's always going to be a tough one though against Arsenal, of course. Just over 10 minutes remaining. It is now Wolves 1, Arsenal 2. They're going to be taking the three points over them. Unless we can get some magic back into this and try and get a late equaliser. But again, poor defending from Wolves. Second goal of the season there for that man. And they're actually pushing forward for a third. Come on. Let's steal it and then push forward ourselves. No, look at the lucky deflections. That's another thing which I hate. You actually go in for the challenge, win the ball. And then, of course, it just bounces straight back to the player who you just stole it off. So I think that's something that EA need to look at because it's highly annoying, highly annoying especially on um, foot champs and any um, ultimate team mode when it comes to it. Uh, but let's jump into the third and final game in today's episode then. And it is Europa League. This is the first European game for Wolves. Um, disregarding the uh, qualifying that we had earlier, but this is the first main one. It is a group stage, so let's get this group stage underway. Fingers crossed we can get off to a good start, get the victory, and we want to remain unbeaten, of course, in the group stages, but we do have a tough group. Well, it could have been harder, but for Wolves, it's still a tough group. We'll see how we get on. Fingers crossed we can at least get through to the knockout stages, then we'll never know how far we can actually push ourselves. But right now, it is still 0-0. After just over 10 minutes, and it is um, Genk going forward. Goalkeeper forced to tip that one over the crossbar. And Kai hasn't had the best of starts in his first 13 minutes. He's on a 5 rating, so really, really bad, actually. He needs to improve on that. Um, but if he can get himself a goal or an assist, of course, that will bump him far, far up into the higher ratings. 
and he made a pass there which gets him up to a 5.1 woohoo and here he is again makes another pass He's up to a 5.3 carries on his run couldn't get there and Genk do get this ball clear so into the second half and as you can see we have been lacking in opportunities to get this ball into the back of the net for both sides actually not just ourselves and Genk haven't really done much either been a um, quite boring and quiet game yeah, but right now Here's Kai, lays it off to his teammate. He's up to a 7 at least, so his his game has improved. And look at that terrible ball from our teammate. Goes so far behind him. And that's the kind of things that we're dealing with right now. The poor passes from our AI, when really the simple passes which they should be able to make. I know we're only at Wolves, but come on, these are still Premier League players. And this is the Europa League. They should not be missing these simple passes. And so again, something that AI, uh, EA really need to look at for the AI uh, but right now, there, oh, we've got a free kick for, what on earth was that for, ref? If you go, if you guys look back at that, at the replay, well, you're not going to see a replay, but if you go back, rewind this video, and that was practically for nothing. Here is a free kick, Kai sliding in, and didn't actually meet the guy there with his feet, uh, but the guy ran into him when he was trying to get up there. Um, so that one, more of a free kick than the first one, but hopefully we don't concede here, come on. Need a defence to concentrate. It's laid off there. Kai's charging in, but thankfully the shot is over the crossbar. And it is going to end 0-0, I believe. Time is running out now, unless we can do something magical here. Kai plays it forward for Adama. Good challenge there from Gen. I think that's going to be pretty much it now. Um, time is up. There is the final whistle. So leave a like, guys, if you did like today's episode. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.